Well, hi everyone. It's a beautiful day in the bluegrass. My name is Chris. I'm the steward of Little Free Library number 45857 on Sandalwood Drive in Lexington, Kentucky. And what we're going to do today is take you on a tour of Little Free Libraries around Lexington. Those that we know about from the map at www.littlefreelibrary.org. Today is Memorial Day in 2017, so while we're traveling around today, we want to keep in mind those who paid the ultimate price in defending our freedoms, including our freedoms to read books. So with that, let's get this show on the road. Okay, well, our first stop is the little free library that is the uh, the northernmost in Lexington and uh, it's at Adena Park which is owned by the University of Kentucky this is uh, Mount Horeb Road right here and uh, we came up Mount Horeb Road from Ironworks Pike and right here before you uh, and there's a dead snake right there but before you uh, get to the gates of the park right there we have Little Free Library number 23569 and uh, looks like uh, it's holding up pretty well in the weather and uh, we'll see what we've got in there yeah, quite a few books looks like uh, the steward could use a few more but I believe that she told me that she has uh, she has plenty so, um, very nice little library. So that's the uh, that's on Mount Horeb Pike, way out in the uh, way out in the country. Now, Thomas Jefferson said, "I cannot live without books," and we've got books here on North Limestone Street downtown just uh, a little bit before um, 3rd Street on the left side this is Little Free Library number 1610 so that was that charter was issued uh, quite some time ago and uh, this is a uh, oh, we got some cat lovers here as well and uh, this is sort of like a little a little park right here picnic tables quite a few tables and uh, boy, do I love the uh, I love the different colors here, and uh, big old trees give you plenty of shade. So this is the the downtown Little Free Library, number one six one zero. And again, that's on uh, North Limestone Street, off to the left before you get to Third uh, Street. Okay, well, we have several uh, little free libraries in the Chevy Chase neighborhood, and uh, I'm standing at the corner of uh, uh, Maxwell and Woodland Avenue, and you see we've got a fire station right here, and right over here is little free library number 1580. Looks like it's been here a while. Of course, it's got an early charter number. There's the there's the books. And uh, if uh, you can't find a book in here, how about that? There's a book called Memorial Day. If you can't find a book in here. There is a bookstore right across the street, Black Swan Books. So we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, other libraries here in Chevy Chase. Okay, just a little further down the road, after Maxwell Street uh, merges in with High Street and becomes East High Street, at 646 East High Street, we have Little Free Library number 22875. I like that. Uh, I like the color of that door, that turquoise, and uh, 
very nice uh, wooded neighborhood here. Very pretty, a lot, a lot of big trees. And uh, we're just, uh, just up from the intersection between High and Clay, right across from uh, Park United Methodist. So uh, another little free library down where uh, kids can uh, reach it. And I see some kids' books down in the bottom. Very nice. Okay, next up we're on uh, South Ashland Avenue here, um, not too far south of Main Street, and we're looking at number 10200, crammed full of books, and uh, very nice uh, street here, lots of trees, lots of big beautiful houses, and that's south, again that's South Ashland Avenue just south of Main Street. And now we're at uh, 475 South Ashland Avenue. And this is Ashland Terrace, which is a uh, retirement community. And uh, right over here is the little free library. And uh, the, uh, this side here, where ordinarily would be the door, is actually just a window. And then over here, you've got the, uh, the actual door. And uh, got quite a few, uh, quite a few books in there. Good, good supply. And uh, let's see, shingle roof, and uh, it's number uh, one six four eight nine. And again, that's um, four seventy five South Ashland Avenue, and uh, at the Ashland Terrace uh, Retirement Home. Okay, now we're uh, a little further southeast. This is Dudley Road, 427 Dudley Road. We have a nice uh, light blue library here. The charter number is 35027. And uh, well stocked with books. Got a uh, nice latch on it here to keep it from, uh, from blowing open. And... Uh, Really good supply of books as well, and I see where the uh, the property's for sale. So I don't know whether the steward is going to take the library with them, or uh, whether it will uh, it will stay uh, on the property, or just exactly what. So uh, anyhow, nice shady spot right here. I like that color, shingle roof. Very nice little free library, 427 Dudley Road. Well, isn't this a nice looking uh, little free library? This is number uh, 35016, and we're on Holiday Road uh, just off of uh, Richmond Road. And the little free library is uh, decorated just to match the house of the uh, of the steward so uh, very nice looking a lot of a uh, lot of work involved in uh, building a library like this but uh, look how nice that is and uh, good supply of uh, of books there's a uh, practice questions for the ACT two rows of books back in there and uh, some magazines just uh, just really nice I uh, I like that so uh, this is uh, right uh, you see the traffic coming across the Richmond Road there Holiday Road and Richmond Road Well, now we're in front of uh, 1622 Lindy Lane, which is right off of Henry Clay Boulevard, and Lindy runs parallel to Liberty Road, so we're not far from Henry Clay and Liberty. And this is uh, 
number 5051 and it looks like um, uh, on an old uh, tree stump there's uh, all kinds of beautiful big trees on this street and an old uh, tree stump and bricks and stones to uh, to bring it up and uh, low a charter number so this library's probably been here for a while but uh, good uh, good supply of books and uh, good neighborhood for it so that's uh, 5051 Okay, well now we're at uh, 861 Kingsbury. We're at uh, 44339. And uh, so this one was chartered uh, not too long before I chartered mine. And we have the steward here. So why don't you ladies introduce yourself? And Well, I'm Julie <laughs> George. I'm the mom. And I'm Dorothy Claire George. Okay, all righty. Well, tell us a little bit about your library here. That's a really pretty one. Um, well, I, my mom found out about Little Free Libraries online, and she wanted me to make one. So I went, every summer I go to my grandparents' house for about a week, and we always build stuff in his shop. And so we decided to build a Little Free Library, and so... What did you make it out of? Um... Everything was what? Wood. Everything was scrap from the garage. Oh, so okay, they really yeah. Have to buy mm -hmm. much. Just yeah, recycle. Yeah, they like to use glass. recycled materials That's whenever right. possible. Yeah. yeah. Roof material. Uh -huh. paint, Right. Yeah. So, and I'm a librarian. Oh, you are. So I okay. go to con I go to library conferences. I got a I get a lot of free pre-publication books. Oh, so wow. So we get to put things in there. Mm -hmm. But a lot of this stuff in there has been from the neighborhood, been in and out. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our children's books need a little help but yeah. they get used the most we have a lot of people who come through the neighborhood walking oh and yeah we'll see kids so we put some chairs got out. the chairs out uh -huh. gonna, this summer i'm gonna build a bench to go next to it so okay. people can actually sit okay well when you finish with that one build a bench for mine too <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll have to let you know but we have enjoyed watching the neighbors come through and we've seen people drive through and get out and put books in and out uh -huh. so it's been fun uh-huh we have enjoyed it. So. Well, congratulations! This is Thank a this is a really pretty library. Yeah, it needs a little love and, uh, right now. And uh, uh, that's okay. You've got uh, you've got plenty of books there. So anyhow, yeah. eight sixty one Kingsbury, and the charter number is four four three three nine. And uh, this is definitely a must see, and that's a three three shelf library. So plenty of books here. Okay, now we're at um, 1184 Colorado Road, right off of uh, Pleasant Ridge, which uh, intersects Man of War uh, just in from uh, Interstate 75. So this library is very close to the interstate for anybody who might be passing through. And uh, low charter number, and uh, it looks like this library has uh, been here for quite a while, but... Uh, holding up to the weather fairly well. Not bad at all, quite a few books too. Looks like there's a, a couple different uh, couple different rows of, uh, of books in there. So it's, uh, it's well stocked. Charter sign has been out in the, uh, the weather for quite a while. Copy of the girl on the train there, that's a pretty popular book. So this is number 992. 1184 Colorado Road. Alrighty, our next little free library is, I think, the uh, the southernmost in Lexington, and we're at the corner of South Point and Henderson Drive. And let me show you how to find this. We're at an office of Lexington Clinic. And this is 630 South Point Drive. And there's the medical center. And looky here, right over here on this street, right under a tree over here, is our little free library. And it seems to be pretty well stocked. Since it's a holiday, there's nobody around here, of course. 
So uh, this one is um, charter number 44145. And uh, nice little library down uh, down low where uh, kids can get to it. This is a this is a fairly new one. And let's take a look here. We get uh, yeah, there's quite a few uh, quite a few books in there. I see some James Patterson. Those are typically popular. This is my very first Mother Goose. So there's some kids books in there too. So uh, green's my favorite color. So I really like the really like the color of that. So this is 44145 and uh, 630 South Point. Uh, Lexington Clinic uh, Pediatric Office. Okay, well continuing on the south end here, we're now at uh, 416 Greenbrier and we're at uh, 35221 and uh, nice library here quite a few uh, quite a few books and stuff in it and this one has a bench that you can sit and read so uh, this is uh, off of Tate's Creek Road and uh, probably the simplest thing is to uh, uh, get on Google Maps to, to find how to get to this so uh, And a nice little, uh, nice little garden right here. A very nice uh, little library, a fairly, uh, fairly new one, but uh, older than mine. 416 Greenbrier Road. Okay, well we are still in the south end here and this is 345 Chase Place which is a little road that makes a uh, a little U off of Stone Road and uh, we're not too far from Clay's Mill Road so this is uh, charter number 45413 so a fairly new library probably uh, sometime last year and uh, under a uh, nice little shade tree here decorated up I like the looks of this and they've got um, plenty of uh, good supply of books looks like so 345 Chase Place in the south end off of Stone Road Okay, well now we are on the west end of Lexington. Um, this is 1917 Westminster Road, which is off of Doville, which is off of Oxford Circle, which runs into Versailles Road, which is US 60 West, headed out of town towards Versailles and the airport. And this is 38303. And uh, that's a little library, but still uh, get uh, room for quite a few books in there so uh, not bad at all that's certainly the smallest one that we've seen but uh, very nice got a nice shingle roof on it that probably doesn't have any problems with uh, water under a nice uh, nice big uh, nice big shade tree over here so uh, that is 38303 on uh, Westminster Road nice library Okay, now we're at um, the westernmost uh, little free library in Lexington. This is uh, way out off of uh, Versailles Road, US 60, way past the airport. The, uh, the name of this road in New England would be pronounced Gloucester. I don't know how it's pronounced here. <laughs> we do have some different ways of pronouncing things. But anyhow, uh, it's off of uh, Westmoreland Road, off of Versailles Road, 
as you head west out of uh, Lexington. And uh, this one's been here a while. A charter number is uh, 9602. Very pretty uh, library. Uh, nice, uh, well-kept bench right next to it. And uh, it looks like uh, you can even borrow some reading glasses if you want uh, to. Uh, and there's another copy of The Girl on the Train. Lots of, uh, lots of books in there. So uh, that's, a, uh, that's a pretty library when you consider that uh, that, one's been, that one's been around a while. Looks to be in really good shape. 3617 uh, Gloucester Road, uh, far west side of uh, Fayette County. Okay, well, our last stop is going to be uh, my little free library at uh, 420 Sandalwood Drive. And uh, my charter number is uh, 45857. So I have, I guess, maybe the, uh, the newest library in Lexington. And uh, just to give you a little bit of information about this, this, uh, this box that you see was found at a... Uh, a peddler's mall by a friend of mine uh, so it was all basically ready to go I put a lot of varnish on it to try to help it to uh, to um, stand up to the weather a little bit and uh, on the sides I have uh, message boards where I can put various messages in between two sheets of uh, plexiglass and uh, this library is on uh, Facebook Facebook.com LFL45857 and uh, I have two two shelves generally keep uh, uh, stuff for the older folks on the top and then down on the bottom over on the right side you'll see some kids books and uh, and also some stuff for teens so I hope I have a little bit of uh, something for everybody and I've got motion sensing lights that come on in the event that uh, that you happen to be uh, uh, here after dark, so uh, I want to thank you for riding along with uh, with us today on our uh, tour of Lexington Little Free Libraries, and uh, Lexington has a bunch of them, and a bunch of very nice ones as well. So um, thank you again, and uh, be sure to uh, come see us.